Hi, Joel MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival website doomandbloom.net, co-author of the Book Excellence Award-winning fourth edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook and designer of quality medical kits at store.doomandbloom.net. Keeping an eye out for possible future pandemic diseases, well, that's part of our mission. Sometimes the concern is significant, as it was in January 2020 when we first reported on what would eventually be called COVID. And sometimes, not so much, as with last spring's avian flu. This time, we're being asked to comment on a viral disease known as MPOX, short for monkeypox. The World Health Organization has declared it a public health emergency of international concern. So what is monkeypox? The monkeypox virus is an orthopox virus related to variola, also known as smallpox. It was first identified in humans in 1970. The various types are divided into two clades. A clade is a group of organisms with a common ancestor. Clade 1 is generally considered more transmissible and more severe than clade 2. It was clade 2, however, that was responsible for the 2022 outbreak, totaling 100,000 cases, including a number in the U.S., but only a 0.2% death rate. The death rate at clade 1 is thought to be somewhat higher, but the number is uncertain and doesn't reach Ebola-level heights. A special concern is that the current clade 1 outbreak affects children under 15 years of age more than any other age group. In 2024, tens of thousands of clade 1 patients have been identified, not here, but in Africa, although only a quarter have been confirmed by testing. I'm guessing this is due to poor access to advanced medical care. Of these, 650 have died, almost all in the Democratic Republic of Congo. A handful have been documented in other countries, but they involve travelers recently returned from Africa. Now, as an aside, the World Health Organization has decided to change the name from monkeypox to mpox for a number of reasons. The most coherent of which is it's not absolutely certain what animal actually passes the disease. African rodents seem to be just as likely to transmit it as primates. So what are signs and symptoms of monkeypox? After an incubation period of as little as a day to as long as three weeks, symptoms of mpox become pretty obvious. Common signs include a nodular, itchy, sometimes painful rash, fever and chills, a sore throat, headache, muscle aches, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. The telltale rash is rather distinctive. It starts as splotches and turns into firm nodules that turn into a blister covered with pus before eventually scabbing over. The lesions can appear on the hands, the feet, the chest, the face, even the genitals. Like many viral diseases, an infected person may be contagious for several days before showing physical signs of illness. That's a big concern. Symptoms usually last two to four weeks, but may last longer in those people with immune systems that are weakened. Now, how does MPOX spread? It's not absolutely certain how animals spread the disease to humans, but being scratched or bitten is likely. Consuming bush meat from infective animals, that is another possibility. Human to human transmission occurs through close contact. This includes body fluids or skin lesions, but even breathing on one another may cause illness, as could exposure to contaminated clothing or bedding. Mpox may also be spread from mother to fetus. Of course, when I talk about close contact, I also mean sexual contact. The 2022 outbreak of clade 2 was thought to be spread in great part to sexual contact among men. No effective treatment has yet been approved for mempox. Keeping the patient well hydrated with IV fluids is important and seems to lower the severity of cases and death rates as it did with the 2014 Ebola epidemic in West Africa. In addition, there are some antivirals and immunoglobulins that are being used in certain cases. Tecoviramat is an antiviral therapy that's available for treatment of severe cases, but it's not yet approved by the Food and Drug Administration. The first mempox vaccines are now out and they're similar to smallpox vaccines. Two doses are required with the second four weeks after the first. An 80% effectiveness rate is claimed, although it takes several weeks for an effect to be noted at all. It may be effective even after exposure, however, I guess that's something. As with all new vaccines, we still don't know enough to determine their true safety profile. Do your research. As of mid-September 2024, no cases of monkeypox have yet been identified in the U.S. Therefore, I don't think it's going to have a major impact on you and yours, but viruses often mutate, so it requires containment efforts where it exists in Africa, and of course, further research.
Be sure to be vigilant and keep track of any and all infectious diseases that emerge anywhere, anytime. This is Joe Alton ND, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times were bad. Thanks for watching. And remember, medic, do what you can with what you have where you are. Hi, Nurse Amy here. Just wanted to remind you guys not to forget to visit store.doomandbloom.net for all your holiday shopping, gifts for birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, any day actually. If you want to help somebody survive a first aid issue, make sure you go to store.doomandbloom.net.